Alright, what's up guys? This is Saracen here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Mr. Natty Dub Hair Preparation. Judging from what I've read on their website, this product is a combination of their pomade wax and their hair clay. So James has done a review on their pomade wax and he's given it his seal of approval. So, kind of have a bit of high standards for this product. Reading the product, it says that it's pretty versatile, um, suitable for most hairstyles from that very loose mat matte mat kind of look to a very slick kind of hairstyle. So today I wanted to do a two take review on when this product is applied when my hair is dry and then when my hair is wet. So you guys will get, you know, a sense of how this product performs for whatever look you guys are going for. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the jar looks like and then we'll jump straight into that two take review. Mr. Natty Dub Hair Preparation comes in this 100 milliliter tin can, which is about 3.38 ounces, I believe. It comes from Britain, so that's why it has that unit. So the label on top, it's pretty crowded, but it comes in this very nice colorway, which is black, white, and blue. Blue for this type of product. You'll notice that most of the products have the same type of design, but it changes accordingly to the different type of product. So on top is the label and the product name. Below it is the ingredients and the application process or the directions. That's pretty much it for the tin can itself. Let's go ahead and see how it does for my hair for when it's dry. Alright, so open up the jar. You're going to get this very nice vanilla scent. And scooping it out. It's very smooth, buttery, and I'm just reminded of this very wax-like product with, you know, a very light pomade characteristic. There's definitely some type of, like, oil in here, but most of it, on my end, it's pretty much wax-like. As you guys can see, pretty much applies, like, you know, it's pretty much like a wax while retaining like this very light oil consistency to it. So this first take is for my hair when it's dry. So usually for oil based products I like to apply it when it's a little bit damp so that there's no tugging but this product given that there's a hint of oil based characteristics I was gonna you know I was afraid of it tugging a little bit but right now it's pretty smooth the scent isn't too bad it's just straight up vanilla and for my hair right now it's taking about three you know three finger scoops worth of product which is, I consider to be a bit, but I gotta make do. So my hair is a little bit tangled right now, so that's why I'm, you know, in a bit of pain. Alright, so running it through my hair is pretty smooth, pretty straightforward. And given the wax-like properties of this product, I'm not feeling that, you know, damp or that very heavy feeling when I apply an oil-based product. It's pretty much, yeah, as I mentioned, it's pretty much a wax at this moment. Um, <clears throat> from what I've read from their website, when you apply it dry, you get this, you know, matte finish very loose look of a hairstyle which I tend not to go for most of the time because given that it's pretty much loose my hair does tend to fall out of place if it's not weighed down by a certain product however we'll see how it goes on dry at this moment so judging from what I see right now there's not too much shine to the product 
combing it is pretty easy. I do have some waves that are tangled in the back, but that's not a problem. So the scent does get stronger as you start agitating the product, but it's straight up vanilla, straight up pleasant. Alright, so let's go ahead and start forming the pop. So I am noticing a pretty nice slickness to the product, given that I'm not feeling too much of a you know heaviness to it <clears throat> so you guys can see there's a bunch of sunlight coming through my windows but there's barely any signs of you know a nice shine to the product which points back to getting that very nice matte careless kind of look and then forming the pump not the pump but the part itself it's relatively easy and this process is going a lot smoother than I'd expected. One thing I am worried about is my sides falling out of place relatively quickly. Styling it has been pretty easy and the product itself is pretty responsive. And I do feel that loose feeling that was mentioned for the product itself. So right now, everything looks pretty tamed, pretty much the way I want it to be. And considering that it's a water-based product, I do see myself needing to use a lot of this. Alright, so, looks about done. Alright, so, after a little bit of, you know, applying the product, a little bit of time has passed, my sides did end up losing a bit of the grip that it initially had. It started loosening up a bit, and basically, my worries were pretty much confirmed in the sense that when applied dry, this product does literally just give you that nice, look of not really applying anything to your hair while maintaining a very styled sense to it. Um, the pump itself, however, did stay up, so I'm kind of happy about that. Potentially this product is more geared towards people who are going for that modern quiff look or that kind of messy, I just got out of bed look, and maybe people with a little bit of shorter hair but for me, this won't suit my needs at the moment when applied dry. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it applies wet. Alright, so I just got out of the shower. We're just going to go ahead and do the wet application and see how slick this product is. So, one thing I like to mention is that this stuff washes out relatively easy. Just pretty much shampoo and I'm pretty sure most of it's all gone. So I'm just going to use maybe two fingertips this time and see how this thing holds when my hair is damp. <clears throat> so this application process is a lot smoother when there is water in the hair. I think the main thing I'm looking for right now is how slick this product can actually be given that directions do say that it makes for a better slickness when applied wet. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and form the pump. One thing I do notice at this moment is that as I'm combing it through my hair, it's a very nice and smooth process, but one thing I do fear is that the product has lost a degree of hold given that the hair is wet. Let's go ahead and form the pump. Alright, so I guess ran out of batteries, but to continue what I was saying, basically what I get from this product is do get a nice slickness, a very nice hold. I feel as if my hair is being held more solidly than as if it were being applied dry. So the sides are held down pretty well. Got a nice slick and clean part. The pop is at a decent height given what I want at the moment and my curls aren't as prominent as when I applied it dry. The <coughs> excuse me, the vanilla scent is still there, but right now because of I guess the water being present, it's not as you know apparent. Um, given for what the product is, I do recommend it for people who are looking for that clean but like loose kind of pop of door. It's not necessarily going to give you a very, very slick, you know, and tight knit pump, but it definitely has good potentials for other types of hair. That's pretty much all I got to say about Mr. Natty Dub Hair Preparation. Until next time, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. I'll probably be getting more into water-based products, and yeah, peace.